year, um, end of year event of the Independent Living and Carers Part Independent Living and Carers Partnership. Um, I think first to say, um, first thing to say is thank you so much to all of you for everything that you do to support some of the most vulnerable residents in Lambeth. The issues that you are responding to and seeking to address are exactly the same issues that I see in my surgeries every week uh, on Friday mornings. Um, and they are becoming, I think it's fair to say, harder. Life is becoming harder for many, many residents in our borough. Uh, resources are being reduced. And the problems that people are facing are becoming, I think, more even in the short time that I've been a Member of Parliament over just, just over a year, more intractable and more complicated and more difficult to, to resolve. Uh, and they are about housing, and they are about a housing situation in London which is in crisis, which is um, out of control, and which is leaving very, very many people either unable to access housing which is fit for purpose and suitable for their needs, or living in the private rental sector in very, very insecure circumstances. And I was talking to somebody yesterday, actually, who's very, in a very interesting way, who's doing um, some academic research on the issue of adaptations for disabled people living in the private rental sector. And I think that's a kind of new issue in its magnitude, that you know, there have always been disabled residents living in the private rental sector, never on such a scale as now, because in the past it was easier to access supported housing or to access social housing or to access housing with, a, with a, um, a, an RSL um, if you had particular needs around um, your, your home. And now we're in a situation where many, many people are, even with very high needs, are living in the private rental sector, need adaptations to their home, and, and there is no regulatory framework that enables landlords to um, have to, to have to accommodate those adaptations in every circumstance. So, so I think that the issues are, that, that we are facing are changing and growing and entrenching and becoming more difficult. Um, I think it's also fair to say that collectively, there is a change of mindset in response to those circumstances. So, uh, and that's very difficult for people. So support that was there in the past, expectations that people could legitimately have had in the past about the ways in which the state would be there for them uh, are no longer the same. They've changed. There are huge areas of, 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 of life where support that was there in the past is not there in the same, to the same degree, and in some cases is not there at all. And that's very, very difficult um, for, for lots of people who have a legitimate expectation that somebody will be there, that the state will pick up and support them at their time of need. Uh, and all of us, we see those problems every single week. And I think in and amongst that, life is even harder for older people who are facing, who perhaps had those expectations for longer, who perhaps, um, uh, are finding it very difficult to, um, you know, are, are not necessarily as IT literate, so one of the kind of cost saving things that people do, lots of organisations are doing is shifting to much more to a kind of online world, and that's the right thing to do for many, many people, but there is a, a, you know, a, a segment of our population for whom that's extremely difficult and for whom it's excluding. And I think the other thing that I see is very, very many older people who are simply lonely, who don't have appropriate interactions with their carers because their carers are only able to be there for such a short period of time, who don't necessarily see anybody else, and whose society isn't, isn't always the best at, at large, is not always the best at kind of recognising people's individual nature, the kind of individual um, interests and personalities that we have don't change as we get older and you know somehow we're in a world where society sees you only as an older person when you get beyond a certain age and not as the kind of diverse range of distinctive individuals that all of us are and all of us continue to be throughout the whole course of our lives so i think in this context the work that the independent living and carers partnership is doing is just the right response to the environment that we find ourselves in so i think the bringing together of different agencies to make it easier for people to get support across a diverse range of their needs is really important. I think the support that you are providing for community groups is brilliant. So, you know, we have lots of a fantastic network um, in London of community groups playing a valuable role in serving um, different, different communities in the borough. Their funding is being squeezed as well, and not all of them are experts at making funding applications or knowing where to look to, to